So we get a lot of uh, references from uh, physicians and other pulmonologists and doctors for various procedures, diagnostic as well as therapeutic. And uh, often patients come with a lot of these queries as to what exactly are these procedures. For example, somebody may be having a chronic uh, and recurrent infections in the lungs as a non-resolving pneumonia or somebody may be having a recurrent uh, fluid accumulation around their lungs for which, a not, uh, for which a proper diagnosis has not been made. Empirical therapy in the form of antibiotics or other modalities of treatment have not worked and the patient continues to be symptomatic. In such patients, we need to do certain procedures like bronchoscopy where in a small uh, scope with the camera attached to the tip of it is passed through the nose or the mouth of the patient and goes inside of the lungs and takes samples from these lungs and these samples are uh, submitted to the pathologist wherein uh, they will uh, look under the microscope and do various tests and give us an appropriate and uh, appropriate diagnosis. So this adequate and timely diagnosis helps us in initiating the treatment as early as possible and patients get benefited uh, with this timely uh, diagnosis and management. So this is the benefit of uh, getting adequate tissue, adequate diagnosis, diagnosis at the earliest and also in patients who, in whom the empirical uh, therapy has uh, not helped. So bronchoscopy is one such modality of treatment. The other modality is called a scleroscopy wherein we put a small port through the, uh, through the chest wall into the pleural space where there is a fluid accumulation and we drain out the fluid and we take biopsies from the lesions in the, around the, in the pleura surrounding the lungs and which helps us in diagnosing these uh, pleural diseases. Not only for the sake of diagnosis, as a therapeutic modality as well, if there is a mass sitting inside the trachea or the breathing tubes inside the lungs. In the Esther years, before the availability of this technology of bronchoscopy or pleuroscopy, it used to be only, surgery, surgery used to be the only modality of uh, managing these patients. Wherein it's extensive procedure, you have to do major surgeries, cost and morbidity is all used to come into picture. With these minimally invasive procedures like bronchoscopy, which can be done through the nose and the mouth of the patient itself, for which no incision is required, you can actually remove most of these tumors obstructing the airways. We can deploy stents, open up the airways, which gives significant symptomatic relief for these patients and also helps in coming and arriving at a diagnosis at the earliest. So these are the different uh, uh, advantages of the procedures which have been made available in the field of pulmonology and thanks to all the technological advancement which has happened in the recent years and uh, very few centers of course have this uh, advancements which are, which are which are available in very few centers and uh, and this is this, this should be enough to educate our patients to understand as to what exactly these procedures are